Let's create a truly seamless pattern for various backgrounds, fabrics, papers, and others. I'm going to be using a new script called Seamless Pattern. Running the script, I will be asked the size of the repeats. So if I want to have a large pattern, I can have it square, I can have it rectangular. And let's say that I want to use a thousand pixel repeat horizontally, but maybe just 700 pixels vertically, which will make a rectangular pattern. Now it will stop and I will place my elements inside or on the edge of the center area. So I will be using picture tubes. I could use hand-drawn designs. I could use paintbrush imprints. It really, really doesn't matter. As long as you keep the background translucent. I'm going to use here some poinsettias. I'm going to have one. And I want to make sure that I create every element on a separate layer. So it will give me the chance to move things around. In recent versions of Paint Shop, you can check here, create as a new raster layer. So every click will create a new layer. So I can have my flowers here. Let's add some spruce branches here, one there. Let's fill the gaps. And maybe I can have some bows just to fill in the gaps. And this one is red. I may, maybe I would want a different color. And when I have kind of a general idea of my design, I will run the script again. Now it will, will show me what it will look like. As you can see, there are some overlaps that I really don't like. So I will accept to make some changes. And using my move tool, I might move, for example, this branch a little inward. This flower is the one here. So it's a little too close to the next one. Maybe I'll move them inward. This one I can go toward the, the little gap. And this one I want to move a little bit off from this. So you can see how you can adjust. So this one is a little too close. You can move things around to balance your pattern. Once you think you're happy with the next arrangement, let's run the script continue and it will show me what it looks like. Okay, do I still need some tweaking? I think so. So this one, I want to have it a little further. This branch, I don't want it to touch. So what I can do, not only I can move it, but if I use my pick tool, I can size it down. So my that way it won't touch. Do I have any other overlaps? Maybe this one is a little bit too close. Again, I'm going to move it inward a bit. Maybe slightly resize it. And this one, I think I'm going to move a little bit more in between. I think this will work. Let's do it again. And I'm kind of happy that I don't have any overlap, but I do have a little bit of a kind of a empty space here. So I'm going to add probably one of those bows. And I'm going to make it small. 
Let's move it with a scale. So it's just going to fill in that little gap. Let's try again. As you can see, this script allows you to tweak your design as you go. And if you're happy with this, let's say that I am happy, I say no more changes, and it will create an actual seamless pattern that I will be able to use now as a tile to fill a larger image. So let's try that with a full size 3600 by 3600 if I'm using scrapbook papers. Of course, you can use a different size if you are working on something else. Using here my pattern, I will go and pick that image 12. I might want to change the scale. I can change the angle also. And using the fill tool, I can fill my pattern. And I have a truly seamless design. I can change the scale. Can go back to 100%. And I have that design. If I want to use no angle, I can go to zero. And I have my pattern. And it is truly seamless. And it's up to you to balance it, to have gaps where you want, or overlaps where you want, or no overlaps, if you really want to make sure you don't have any. You can add a different background color with the fill red would probably be a little bit too much but you can have different colors and create your own pattern for your next projects have fun